In general, only small nonpolar molecules can pass unaided through a phospholipid bilayer. Molecules move randomly and can move in both directions across the membrane. However, the net movement of molecules will be from regions of high concentration on one side of the membrane to regions of low concentration on the other side. At equilibrium, equal numbers cross the membrane in both directions. Some membrane proteins form channels that allow polar or charged substances to cross the membrane. In this example of facilitated diffusion, a channel allows specific ions to pass. These ion channels are gated and open and close by a variety of mechanisms. Here, a stimulus molecule causes the channel to open. In facilitated diffusion, like in simple diffusion, substances can move in either direction across the membrane, but the net flow will be from a region of higher concentration on one side of the membrane to a region of lower concentration on the other side. Thus, the process is still one of diffusion, but is facilitated by a molecule that creates a passageway in the membrane. This movement down a concentration gradient requires no input energy from the cell. Some membrane proteins act as carriers that bind a molecule on one side of the membrane, change shape, and then deposit the molecule on the other side of the membrane. In this example of facilitated diffusion, a glucose carrier protein moves glucose down its concentration gradient. This process of diffusion requires no input energy to move the molecules across the membrane.